This is Mungo Dark Matter, and I'm making this video to demonstrate how I created the WoW Bucket List Alliance Riding the Horde video, uh, where there are two characters in the video that are both played by me. And uh, one is Mungo, and one is Dr. Leo. And uh, they're doing commentary on a uh, World of Warcraft video, basically. So, the first thing that I actually did was created this track down here, which is the background. And um, that shows all of what's happening in World of Warcraft. And that was created with fraps. And I did several takes and spliced it together in Sony uh, Vegas uh, until I got it the way I wanted it. Then what I did was I created um, an audio voiceover down here where I did the voice of both characters and worked out what they were going to say and what the timing would be across the video. And uh, once I got the timing correct, I did the first character, which was Mungo, and what he was saying. And in my head, I did basically the voice of Dr. Leo saying his line so I could leave a space that was about the right size. Um, and... Then I filmed Dr. Leo while playing the Sony Vega and I watched this track down here which is the voice of Mungo and you can see there are f flat lines here and those flat lines are the spaces. So I had an earphone in my ear when I was recording the video so I could hear when M Mungo said something. After he finished I could respond to him and I could watch this um, flat line and when I started to get towards where the activity was I knew he was about to talk again and that's how I did the timing on uh, the voices in the back and forth that's how I set up the whole thing as far as that goes so once that was done um, it, it was just a matter of splicing everything together again and so um, now I'm going to show you uh, real quick how I actually did it in Sony Vega and how I recorded the other other parts. I'll, I'll basically go through the steps with you. Okay, here's the, the Mungo track, which was um, recorded first. Now the first thing I needed to do was get the, uh, you can see it was filmed on green screen here and um, there's a, um, I need to use chroma key to, uh, to uh, so that I can see the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to go find the chroma key here. I'm going to drag that right down to this track right here. And it brings up this um, screen here, the chroma key screen where you can adjust it. You can already see just by bringing it up it actually kind of started to uh, pull out some of the background but it looks greenish because it's by default using blue screen. So I'm going to go to there's choice green screen and pure green screen. Pure green screen worked better for me. And so I put on the pure green screen and we can make some adjustments here. And we just adjust it until it's um, it looks good. You can actually bring it up fuller on screen. 
Uh, I suggest bringing it up um, to the full screen like that when you're adjusting it just to make sure everything looks okay. You can also play through it um, to see uh, if it looks good as it, it's moving around because sometimes if it's not adjusted quite right uh, the person will look kind of transparent or certain things will show through the background. So um, basically we uh, we adjust Mungo so that he you, you can see the background through it using the chroma key here. Alright, so we used chroma key to get the background to come out and so we can see Mungo and it looks like he's sitting in World of Warcraft. So, but the problem is he's too large. We want him down here smaller in the left part of the screen. So what we do is we go over here to the Mungo track and we click on this icon right here and we can reduce his size. But you can see he's in the middle of the screen there still. So I'm going to move this little box here until we get him right where we want him. Okay, so we've got Mungo sized correctly and he's down in the right corner and everything. Uh, we can actually uh, play this now and uh, you can see this would be a point where Leo would be talking and thank you Leo um, I'm gonna be approaching the horde limp from the front and the reason is is because and so then he starts talking you can see down here at the track it was when he was silent it was on the straight line and and now we're on the uh, the the middle where it's the lines now wavy and he's actually talking there's there's motion there so what I would do at this point is I would bring up the Logitech application I use to film with the Logitech camera and basically what I do is I get it so that I can see both windows at once I can be running this and I'm recording on this I start the recording on this first then I start the playback on this then as I'm filming the part of Leo or the second part uh, I can see what's going on in in the camera here and I can see what's going on on uh, Mungo's side or the first person's side and I can respond to him and I can look down here where his soundtrack is and I can see where the spaces are so I know about how much time I have so then So then it's a matter of just uh, filming the second part, or, or once I have the second part in, I can uh, add Leo in, as you see right here, he's popped in. There's actually a little thing here called mute on each of these tracks, and you can mute out a track so you can see what it's like with or without that track and that's useful sometimes when you're editing and when you want to pull something out in this case in the demonstration I was pulling out parts now basically I did all the same chroma key and sizing stuff with um, Leo that I did with Mungo that I showed you with Mungo so I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go through that again but so he's added to the track he's been sized he's been put down and we have both together now the only thing left to do really is it's, uh, this is Leo's soundtrack right here and you can see where Leo is talking and where he's not talking and we can use those to help us line up with Mungo's uh, sound graphically and then we can listen to it and adjust it 
So we move the, the tracks. You can actually expand or contract these these uh, tracks. This changes the time scale on it so you can see see better the spacing and everything. And uh, you can size those depending on what you're doing to make it easier to edit. So basically you line them up and you run through testing it to make sure that this that they're coming in on the cue that you want them to come in and that they're not going over the edge and so that they're in each other's blank spaces they're only talking in each other's blank spaces basically and um, once you get that lined up Leo's track will have to have a little clipped off the front of it because remember you started recording Leo before you put on Mungo so there's a little extra time on that so you're gonna cut off have to cut off a little bit on the front of his track once you line it up and figure out where it is and then you have the in, entire video so then when you when it uh, when it runs to come from it at the front and try to land on either the very front end or the rear end so the guards don't get me well, it looks like you've got to hit right in the middle haven't you that seems to be so they're going back and forth uh, you'll notice that this the preview on this is not as good as quality as when you actually render it and uh, sometimes the synchronization of uh, the lips is off or the video and the sound is off a little bit uh, so really you, once you get everything lined up you need to render it and watch the initial rendering to see if you need to make any more slight adjustments on some things at least sometimes you have to do that uh, uh, because neither the image or the the um, sound comes out perfectly on this preview because it's a, a lower quality and uh, it takes a lot of um, uh, it takes a lot of uh, processor speed to be able to do the, the preview the rendering takes a while to do so uh, particularly the more tracks you have uh, this this is like about a 10 minute video I believe and it took about um, two hours I think to render all this because I've got multiple soundtracks on here I've got multiple video tracks and I've got multiple uh, effects going on including green screen and resizing everything and uh, the titles at the beginning and everything so it takes a long while to render it depending on the, the speed of your machine uh, this isn't a particularly fast machine but it's not a real slow machine either so it's probably a middle of the line on your faster machine you would probably pick up a little bit more speed on it uh, but it's still going to take a while to render it depending on how many tracks you have anyway that's how the uh, video was created uh, um, I hope you enjoyed uh, both videos and uh, until next time I'm Mungo Dark Matter for Dark Matters.